I mean it's something about a fresh line Make a man feel like a million bucks Fresh fade, get the tape or the shadow on it Them waves so deep, you need a paddle for them uh, I mean it's more than just hair It's the confidence you feeling when you step up out that chair And I swear, they tell me every bob is mean From Trav Hearn, B to Saeed, now say hello to the team Cause the style supreme, my nigga don't forget the style supreme They know the style supreme, supreme style Keep the whole town clean, get a can of that sheen Spray it on me, make me feel like a king Like a king. That's what I mean by gold dreams And they gon' get up on this smooth shit one day One day, one day, one day And you could even bang In my day, the barber was a counselor He was a fashion expert uh, He was a style coach just general all around hustle. I said all them things a long time ago, but I say this here, I'm still pretty. <laughs> ha! Y'all come into the room, come into the room. You're watching uh, the Supremely Faded podcast <laughs> with the Supreme Style Barbers. <laughs> we already wilded. <laughs> Let me turn the mic up. We got a, we got a special guest in the building. <laughs> special what guest up? in the building. Shit, Shit. 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 Sister Waletta. Good to see you. What's up, sir? Um, we're going to have some fun. Because Shed's here. Shed G is in the building. Our resident uh, celebrity, Shed G, a.k.a. Shedrick the Entertainer, a.k.a. Shed the Light. Deep Dallas. A.k.a. Shed the Dallas. Hey, he says every uh, city down, every state down the hill. AKA the he, masculine, he, my dear devil. He said, <laughs> 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 Tyler Perry. Junior. Pinky short set. AKA. AKA. <laughs> Tyler Perry. 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 And be able to make a great name, make a great following. And it's so hard to do that. But one thing that I can say is being from Denver helped me to be able to deal with stuff like that. And to be able to adapt. And it's because of the haters that you have <laughs> in your own hometown. Mm -hmm. It makes you go harder when you go to another city and be a better person as far as like your art craft or the business or whatever you want because it push well that, that, that's because people like people looking at you and they're like man I grew up with him mm -hmm. he ain't funny right I did this he I could do that yeah. you know what I'm saying they all think they can do it but as soon as they get on stage and lay that egg sit on their side right right, <laughs> right. I oh, another thing and, and before we get started I'm gonna tell you this so I had talked to a mentor of mine and the mentor broke me down for Mentor was like, when you graduate from high school, your friends and peers, everybody was right here, mm -hmm. even with you, right? So then you go to college, some people couldn't go to college. Right. So the ones in high school kind of stayed on that level. Mm -hmm. 
So then you go to college, then you go get this, and you and every time you go to a different level in your life, somebody's not going with you. Right, right. So then therefore they knew you and they started with you at that particular point. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people hold grudges against you. But the one thing I I've never done was put anything in my in anybody's face. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I always show love for everybody, I always come and try to encourage everybody. You know? Fuck that, I'll put it in their face. I love haters. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, we had so many haters. Uh, 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 try. We gonna have so many haters over the last twenty six years, and uh, they all gone. They all gone. Oh. Y'all remember they had that one barbershop with the basketball <laughs> They had fish in the flow. They had fish in the flow. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they had skate they out there. They was out the back. I was like, oh no, man. They was like, man, 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 they Oh my God. The tables and everything, I said, can they cut hair? Right. <laughs> <laughs> when we was on Oneida, man, we used the blood barber shop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trav was barber was blood. blood. <laughs> <laughs> I was Muslim blood. <laughs> <laughs> I was Muslim blood. <laughs> we was super blood. You know what I'm saying? Super blood. Oh, man. They was, man, we was going to be out of business in a <laughs> hot minute. Right. Man, please. We just, we just let them keep, keep hating. Really? Keep hating. Meanwhile, people still come to get haircuts. Yeah. Every yeah. day. To, to tell you about somebody else. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Here. Hey, man. Shit, what you been up to, man? What's, what's going on? Tell us about the um, Tom Joyner Cruise, man. we never been on one man. of them. Been uh, doing a lot of touring, man. I had the honor of uh, being on the Tom Joyner Cruise, being booked. And it's a great thing, man. Like, if you ain't never been to the Tom Joyner Cruise, you got to understand. The Tom Joyner Cruise is the creepy of the cream of cruises. The reason why I say that is because her, I didn't realize until I got on there that he had the whole boat. He didn't have just portions of the boat. The Usually whole boat. To, uh, like Roman sex cruises, whatever. Right. They got 25, right. 100, you know. Man, shoot. Tom Jordan had the whole boat. He got the whole boat. Boat. Like that's his, Black that's his thing. And it, run, it runs anywhere between 5000 and 7500 Yeah, I tell you, it's worth every penny. Mm. Worth mm. every penny. Number one, the people that own that boat move to Shakers because they can afford to pay them. You know what I mean? So they're moving to Shakers so you're networking. Right. Number two, the celebrities on that thing is just off the chain. And right. they're walking around on the boat. Ralph Tresman, King Play, uh, Gina. Lauren Hill, well, no, she just stay on there. Lauren Hill. So you had, a, you had a boat full of black excellence. Exactly. All right. Exactly. And then the cool thing is, is when you see, remember Malaysia from here and who are all the shots we're going to learn? I ain't seen her in years. I walk up, I see her, her sister, her grandma. It's like you see people from all over and you network. So when you do travel and do whatever you got, it's like it's so, it's off the chain. And then you can mingle and meet with the celebrities and stuff like that, and it's it's crazy, man. Right. It's a, it's it's worth every bit. Kumo D, Big Daddy Kane, Scarface, like all the pictures I was right. showing y'all with me being a performer and stuff. So it was cool to network and just do our thing, man. The comedians, some of the greats, Myra J's on there, uh, uh, Rodney Perry. You know, just all the greats is on there. So for me to be on there with them, man, it was just a blessing. That's dope. Yes, sir. That's dope. Uh, I wanted to ask you because um, Tyler Perry just bought BET. Right. Uh, and and there's a BET and uh, I forgot the other one. It's, it's uh, like VH1. VH1. It's yep. a joint. Yeah, you got VH1 too. So you got both? Yeah. Yep. Uh -huh. yep. And I don't know if it's all the way done, but the paperwork and everything, so it's going to be done. Mm -hmm. But, you know... I mean, he's always had that vision. He's, he's doing his thing, man. He's like your check, a yeah. little bonus check or something. But he no, <laughs> not yet. But <laughs> one thing, on but you want to know one thing I want to say about that too, Herm, and then we'll get into it. Tyler Perry, the, what you see with Tyler's doing wasn't Tyler, wasn't all Tyler. Right. People need to understand that Oprah Winfrey looked out for Tyler. Right. Mm -hmm. Brought Tyler in and made Tyler who he was. So imagine if we as black folks, especially here in Denver, with all the stuff we have and the resources, if we were to come together, what we can own, right. what we can do, you know what I mean, as a, as, as a collective group, not just individuals. Right. People, somebody told me, the people at the bottom is always trying to compete. 
Mm. People at the top of the food chain collaborate. Right. So we have to understand where where do we want to be? I'm always trying to collaborate with somebody. Always. Got to collab. Unity is the key, man. Mm -hmm. Unity is the most powerful um, force that we have. And And I um, I am really picky on this line. (laughs) Yeah, you're picky. (laughs) <laughs> Pippi gonna pick oh, me on right. Pippi <laughs> dress that <laughs> yeah. My outfit look like it came on one day <laughs> 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 They were like here with this shit Are you golfing this one? Yeah, I'm trying, trying to play a little golf Try to love See golf I'm trying to, I'm almost your club What? Right here I'm almost your club Hey, you need me a dart on the cruise, man. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I got on there too. I got on there too. That's dope, man. So what's uh, what's next, brother? Any any projects coming up? Um, man, I'm really just touring a lot, man. Uh, Dallas is being great. Um, it's in a, it's just man, just moving to Dallas. It was hard at the beginning because nobody knew who I was, and you know, I I work off my network. Right. So the one thing that I'm about to do is um, within the next two years is open up two uh, event centers, one in North Dallas and one in South Dallas. And twice a month I do an event at each one of them. Mm-hmm. So it'll be a concert or a comedy show. Um, everything's just good, man. I'm just about trying to just own my own now. Like the Duck Donuts and Mall of America, which is major, that's doing excellent. Right. And, you know, once again, that's when two. Um, with me and my business partner collaborated to do something great. Right. We were, he could have easily, and we could have easily been trying to compete against each other. But you know, when we collaborate, man, it's, it's all right to work with somebody to get to get that money. That's awesome, man. Sharing that same vision. Yeah. <clears throat> like yeah. I was speaking of uh, unity, man. Unity, and people confuse uh, as to what unity actually is. You know what I'm saying? Unity is not the same thing as uniformity. Uniformity is where we look the same, we act the same, we want the same things, we dress the same, the whole nine. That's uniformity. However, unity is just when we are still keep our differences, our uniqueness, but we want the same thing. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. so ultimately, that's always been the problem in the community is a lack of unity. Because we all want the same thing, but we haven't been able to put our uh, fingers quite on that button to make that thing happen. But if, if it's all about, like you said, collaborating and uh, getting to the next level, then like-minded people just get together and say, okay, well, let's, you know what, let's get together on this one particular adventure. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It, we don't all have to see things the same, but we just want, to, want the same things, if that makes sense. You know, what, you, know what I, you know what I really found out, though? Um, one thing with, in, the, in our black community yeah. is that we, we will jeopardize our hearts, um, spirits, and just so much stuff. But one thing we don't play with is letting people into our finances. You right. know what I mean? Like I've seen, I've seen people go back and build relationships, but when it comes to money, they shut stuff down. But a lot of us, we, we act too prideful and secretive where if you know you have somebody who can help you get to another level, mm-hmm. but they don't want to do it because then they're, they're, they'll be exposed that their credit score is only a 535. Or, you know, because sometimes the vulnerability is, is, is messing up your growth. Yeah. You know, so if we if you get with somebody and say, hey, this is where it is, you gotta, you got to ride somewhere. So how are you going to get ahead if you don't really put that out there? So we, 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 we tend to not do it and then just be stagnant where we are because yeah. we're ashamed. Yeah, we're thinking of, of the wrong things, man. We're thinking of the wrong things. Mm-hmm. And I always like to say, like, money, money, we think of money in the wrong way. Money is a tool. Mm-hmm. Money is referred to as currency because currency is the same thing as energy. Current. Currency. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And so whatever you put your energy behind, that's what's, that's what's going to make it, it's going to make it move. And so when we learned that particular concept that, man, I'm not trying to hold on to this little five thousand dollars for what? It ain't doing nothing in your pocket. It ain't doing nothing in your uh in, in your bank account. But if you invest it and make it work for you, it will move and bring about more currency. You know what I'm saying? So we just have to change our attitudes about the way uh money works and what money really is 
instead of trying to hold on to it. And, and the problem with us as a people is, you know, we never had anything. So when we get a little something, you know what I'm saying, we're real protective of it. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, man, money, in truth, isn't even an asset. And people don't understand that. And big shout out to uh, Miss Scott. Man, Miss Scott is a, is a real one. She came out to, when I was in L.A., mm-hmm. doing the, uh, with DJ Spinderella in the Walker yeah, Fame. Scott. Mama Scott? Oh, well, that's well, that's it. It. Yeah. My sister. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, she's a real one. She came to support um, with Blues with DJ Spinderella and all that stuff. And she, she was out there, came through, represented. You know, oh, oh, fight you. Oh, yeah. Fight for <laughs> no thing, doubt. She no fight for no me. doubt. She knows. No she, doubt. She's like, this my boy. This my. I yeah. said, come on, baby girl. <laughs> we, we had a great time. Man. That's that life game. Yeah, that's there the life game. No, no. <laughs> and she got that too. But she was like, wait, if, if you in her circle, I do know she didn't hit you with this part yeah, of the thing. Right. right. <laughs> so big shout out to Miss Yeah, Scott. Wally's a real one. Yeah. And Alana's in the building. Uh, good morning, Alana. Hey, what's up, babe? <laughs> Man, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Now, I wanted to, um, I wanted to switch gears a little bit. Um, shit, he comes to all the stuff he's doing all over the world. But uh, we wanted to talk about this situation that happened in Chicago. Um, Wait, don't talk about it yet. Go ahead. Go ahead, Trav. We're gonna let, go ahead, Trav. Don't talk about it yet. We got to ask you why you're here. Uh, oh, well, I'm here. Shameless plug. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, stun, stun. <laughs> uh, I'm here to, to host the uh, the uh, concert. I guess it's the the end of an era concert for uh, Michael, Hancock. Michael Hancock. It's going to be uh, at the Botanical Gardens uh, with uh, Patty LaBelle. Patty! <laughs> Patty LaBelle, Gerald Albright, and me. <laughs> So it's, you know it's, it's a blessing, man. When when they call you back, like the the, the the people that you you know, they call you back to come in for stuff like this. Big yeah. shout out to Cleo Park uh, Robinson. I'm here with her all the time. Doing right. Stuff. So it's just a blessing to be thought at to you know in a situation like this. So I, so I know you can't bring up the Patty situation. Patty, <laughs> Patty, <laughs> see I. She didn't know the words. She didn't know huh? the words. She was doing it. She didn't the turn. She, she, she didn't know the words. No. I can't read the screen. I can't read the screen. You know they told me too. They, they but she did like, it good though. She, she really did it good. She was like, I can't read the screen. But see, what what Whatever, whatever. What Patty should have did though. She should have did. What Patty should have did. What Patty should have did. What Patty should have did is what all artists do. Let's keep what they do is they're like, Y'all sing for Patty, you know it. Right. You sing right. That's what you Patty know the words. They're playing off. Right. She did it. Patty was she didn't even hum it. They were singing it. <laughs> she didn't even hug it. I can't see the bottom of my eye. Ah, ah, she started singing those all songs. If only you knew. <laughs> that's not cool. I'm in the eye. I can't see the bottom of my eye. Uh, uh, uh. God bless him. <laughs> she started to be a woman. She did. Keep smiling, man. Keep smiling, man. Look, that woman's 70 some years old, man. Y'all better leave that girl alone. <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> that's she, she, she didn't like her. She wasn't like embarrassed. She was like, right, right. She like, did. Y'all like, <laughs> like, la 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 Something. Right. And she knows she know a little bit of slang. You know what I mean? Somebody asked you, you didn't know the word? She said, and did. I was like, wait a minute. I don't know you, man. And did. I said, uh, <laughs> Alana's going to work. Bye, Alana. Good to see you, sweetie. Bye, um, <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Where else, Crab? Alright, that's it. That's I it. Didn't say what, was. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing in town? <laughs> My peoples. So you got to, uh, you saw Black Mike though. You didn't get to meet uh, White Mike. I did. I, 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 I told him. I, <laughs> yeah, you didn't meet the new word. No, I don't. 
I, I didn't mean, because you know I've been out in the loop and all of this stuff, so I'm, I probably didn't mean him tonight. And I told you, I think, well, I'll be wrong if I be like, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Color Safe Bleach Mike. <laughs> I don't think you don't ever want to be invited back. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> <the white mic. laughs> so we call him white mic in white mic in the barber shop. He was supposed to come. He didn't make it up. Yeah. That's okay. We made up the slow. Right. That's yeah, alright. But anyway, okay, we wanted to talk about the, uh, uh, this whole situation in, in, in Chicago and I'm kinda thankful I don't have the uh, video because it was kinda rough. But there's a 14-year-old boy, a mother, and her son. Was the little boy in the car? I'm gonna have to read the story. I think the little boy was in the car. I think she called him up there. She got into an altercation with some dude at, at a restaurant in Chicago. And the dude said, oh my grandma. I, I watched the video. Oh yeah. He said, oh my grandma, you say one more word, I'm gonna sock the, the Jesus out of you. And she, she did. Yeah. And she did. He didn't knock her out though. He did no, not knock her out. But he showed swung on her hard. Swung on her hard. And um she survived and her little fourteen year old came in with the pistol and laid him down. But the controversy is they charged her. They charged her and they charged the son with first degree murder. Because she told the little boy, kill him. Mm-hmm. And then they dropped the charges. And they later dropped the charges. But what are, what are y'all's thoughts? Where, where do we stand on that? I, Go ahead. I think, Go ahead, I think that, uh, like, these little dudes, they want to be just like women. So, you know, like, mm. like a lot, most of the time, like, they, they think, like, they come from the era where things ain't fair. Like, that ain't fair. They want to have the same rights as women. They want to do the same thing as women. Like, a, a lot of dudes, they go to get their nails painted. Right. Know, like, pointy. They wear, uh, uh, they doing everything that women do. Right. You know what I'm saying? The little dudes is doing everything. And they're saying they ain't gay. Right. But you're doing everything that a woman's doing. Right. First, you Wear their clothes. You wear their skin every day. You started out there, mm. so it's like a, a big cycle. And for him to get that lady like that means mm-hmm. he hit a lady before. Oh yeah, he was coming. He was coming no with that lady. No doubt about it. And, and 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 like when you do things like a woman, and you like maybe he was raised by one, he was really sensitive. Like, so he was really, really sensitive, and, and whatever she was saying was really cutting through, getting it right. Out. Like, like, like she knew, right? Her. Right, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it was like she was saying, well, I, don't, I don't know what she was saying, I couldn't decide what the lady was saying, but it was almost seemed like she knew him, and I didn't want everybody else knowing what she was saying, so he's trying to shut her up, right? So he, he, he punched her, he punched her a couple times. And I was mad. I was mad because not only did he punch her, the old man, the old man, that turned ran around out. and ran out. Hmm. See, that's that's where that's where I was going to go. My thing is when I grew up, you know how we were, especially like even in even in Park Hill area, the community. You know what I mean? You couldn't hit no woman in public like that, right? You know what I mean? Somebody, you like even with you arguing, you we had the respect for others where. Where we literally will be like, hey man, don't do that here. Y'all right. need to chill out and it's okay. Right. You know what I mean? But now because of the way society is, these 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 people are soft. Because the fact that they're people that you know, people they got more guns. People are afraid that they're gonna shoot, they're gonna do whatever. But the thing is, if it's all of us in there, that wouldn't have happened in some French style barbershop. Right. That wouldn't have happened no in a place where Yes, other people are, but especially in Chicago, people, they fear their life. And that's the point to where we need to get back to where we we will be able to, you know, just take the situation down, right. de-escalate. Hey, man, don't do that, man. This is, hey, man, just don't say nothing, man. 
just, man, look, just, yeah. just chill. Just like I've done it. I, right. I, I've done it before. Yeah. Like, right. Hey, man, 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 you don't need this. Come on, man. Just, hey, man, just take a moment, man. Just breathe a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But people will not do that. If that man that ran out was like, hey, man, we can just, we just, let's just chill out, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? We, 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 we here. We have to work right now. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, man, we're, we're, we're black community, man. We don't want to see this. We got kids here. We got all this. So sometimes if you try to be the voice of reason, you don't have to go put your hands on nobody. Like, hey, we don't need this. But don't be like, stop, y'all, stop. No. You see that? Right. That's old school. That's old school. And the older dude was scared. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. The little youngsters that was in there, they, the new thing is pull out the phone. And exactly. Them. And that's what that, and that's what Tanisha's saying. She's saying people rather record the incident yeah. versus how someone in the moment. They get killed. And of course, my, my sister said, <laughs> son did what he was supposed to do. <laughs> he was. My brother and my son are not to going to allow anyone to hit me. Hey, yeah. If you ask That's anybody, right. if you ask anybody, if, if, if you see him seeing your mom, what you going to do? Right. Oh, what you think? Oh, I was shot all of this and through the gun. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going to take my arms. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do whatever it takes. You know what I'm saying? Shoot whatever. Yes, sir. Yeah, it was um. But that was heavy. She told, she told him to kill him. Yeah, she told. Yeah, him. she, she told said kill him. Kill him. Which and, she and she told him to kill uh, his there girlfriend. His girlfriend. She was in there too. She was in there too. They said the girlfriend had egged the, the little dude on, which is weird. The, the, the internet is brutal though. Cause they didn't give two fucks about that boy dying. Right. They had fun stuff, out. Like out of work. Oh they man, this is it. Boy went in there for a burger and left out with wings. I said, oh <laughs> shit. Oh good. Damn. 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 Remember he said, oh my grandma. They said, he was the first person to say, oh my grandma. And then go beat it with 3.5 seconds. They man, they get a day, man. Oh man, internet is not playing. But I mean, like, dude, at, at no point will a uh, uh, older lady, like, it's somebody's grandma, somebody's yeah. mom. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, maybe she, yeah. maybe she was going through something that day. Right. That's, that's another thing. You don't know what people going through that day. Yeah. You don't know what's on somebody's mind that day. The person could have lost a job, mm-hmm. whatever. Don't, I'm not even gonna go to games. Like, you can get talking crazy. Yeah, man. I'm, I mean, I'm with it. I'm with all that. Like, I'm, I'm just good. saying, but I'm cool. You can like, talk all you want to me. Uh, yeah, I'm we ain't gonna do that. Hey, man. I just, I don't know, man. It's just, when you see stuff like that, it hurts. And then the other thing is, it's like, man, you know, I lost my mother. Right. And my grandma. You know how I felt about right. all of it. So for me, sometimes to see people disrespected, Nice. Especially, oh, it, it's like, nigga, my mom ain't here, and, and you, you doing this, and right. you got your, That's sometimes real. I'll be one to lash out on other people who, it's not, I don't even know, because that's how much I miss my mom and my grandma, you know what I mean, and it's like, y'all better take advantage, because when they gone, that hurts, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, you know what, it speaks to so many problems that we have in the community, the, the first thing that, 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 um, I would address is the, just the blatant disrespect, the blatant disrespect of a black woman, right? No matter where she's coming from, you know what I mean? Like to, to get into an argument with some woman, some strange woman, and then to literally rear back and swing on her. Like punch her, punch her. Like punch her, punch her, like she was a dude. Like a dude. Like that just speaks to just the level of, man, where is your, where is your training at, bro? Like who, who yeah, raised yeah, you? Who raised you? Who where, they, where, they, where, they, where they do that at? The first thing that we learned as children was, you know, as little boys, is that you don't hit little girls. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, I could never hit any of my sisters. Uh, okay, okay. You, you feel what I'm saying? So, there you have it. Remember I said, little boys are trained not to hit little girls, but girls hit girls. Yeah. So when you got that, that feminine thing in you, you, you think like, ain't nobody out there. I seen a boy fighting a girl online, this nigga was smoking a cigarette. And he had a bra on, 
he had a bra on and fighting a girl. I mean, he was, he was really fighting her like, like it was two right. girls. Like, right. It's not a girl girl fight, y'all. And they feel like that. Dude, you're a boy. But the thing is, like, this little dude allegedly had a girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like, was that his girlfriend friend? Like, no, no, okay. or was can that I his woman? Can I play the devil's advocate? Go ahead. But well, when is it? Because these women's mouth nowadays, ladies and gentlemen, the Supreme Style Barbershop is sponsored by <laughs> <laughs> Smoothie King, where you can get your smoothie. <laughs> but uh, appreciate you, B. I got you. So my question to the community is, these women's mouth be off the chain. Yeah. It'd, be, it'd, be, it'd be so disrespectful to where some of them will push you to that edge. So when do we hold some women accountable for, I don't know what she said now, don't get me right. wrong, but I'm just bringing that out there, not just on this one case, but you got some women who know where to cut you deep. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's like, it's but like, I don't know. know. But these women do, they do be disrespectful. They be disrespectful with, I mean, they be going so hard, and it's because of the hurt that they may have, yeah. mm -hmm. or the things that they're going through. So my question is, when do we hold them accountable for those types of things? You know. Well, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, in terms of swinging on them, never. No, no, I'm say swing. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, you can't hold a woman accountable for running her mouth. That's what women do. That's why they're referred to as the weaker. Sex. Men are at least 50% stronger than a woman physically. And so where they make up for it is with that mouthpiece. That's just the nature of a woman is she's going to be able to cut you like, you know what I mean? Like nobody else can. That's her nature. You can't win no argument with no woman. You know what I'm saying? And, and we all had those, those issues, but this is like, I got spit in the face. This was straight up extreme. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that woman just spit on that man. She was sitting up there talking. Right. No, no, I'm, no I, I'm not saying just about this situation. Right. I'm just saying that as a whole. Right. Because a, a, as a whole, like, like with this situation, there's no reason that that guy should do that at all. Some people were saying that with what you're saying. They're like, well, what was she saying? There ain't nothing she could was, say. Why she keep going? There's nothing she could say, she could say that would warrant that. Even if she punched him. Yeah. It still would have been the same. Exactly. That ain't gonna hurt. And you know, someone had asked me about it, like what did I think in terms of uh, the whole incident. He had that coming. He had that killing oh, yeah. coming. You know what I'm saying? Because dudes have been murked for less. You know what I mean? You disrespect my, you say something wrong to my mama. Not even my right. mama. <laughs> my I'm crying. Right. right. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's a sad, situation because you know it, it affects our community in that way but it also is like a uh, I think it's like a wake up call for us that man you as men we have to protect our women we have to protect our mothers our sisters our wives we have to protect them because uh yeah it, it ain't gonna fly dudes ain't gonna be swinging on you know what I mean that, that's crazy Right. Oh, your line is in the building. The hostess with the mostest. Yeah, man. So we talk about your line. We talk about the situation that happened in Chicago, and we're talking about the respect and and, and uh, protection of black women, and and that's an issue in the community because people will say, okay, but yeah, these sisters be running their mouths. These sisters be doing this. They be doing that. They be doing the other. However. Um, we got to be on code when it comes to protecting our women if we want to be a successful community you know what i'm saying if we don't care if we just want to if we just want uh our community to go in the direction that is going where you got uh all this gender confusion you know what i'm saying where men to trav's point are acting like women and fighting women and fighting women like that's something we do right but I can he probably dudes like that usually don't fight other men. They don't exactly. Fight, they don't fight other men. They don't scare they scared to fight a man. Well he ain't gotta be worried about fighting nobody now. <laughs> <laughs>
Cause that little boy put in that work. The little boy in Chicago, and the uh, and the uh, the mother, who yeah, was yeah, he got work. Yeah, he fighting. They was going at it. With the worms right now. Yeah, it's a done dizzle. The old school pushing up daisies. Somebody said that he went in for a burger and came out with wings. <laughs> 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 yeah, man, we laughing at. That's funny though. <laughs> But you know what? Keep going ahead and yourself. You know, that, that brother looked like something was unstable with him, though, after Jacob. Yeah. He's in Chicago. To me. It's <laughs> like, because. <laughs> well, true. True. Shit. You know, and we had somebody unstable with him just last week. He was just here. He was just here today. <laughs> he was just here today. Oh, was he? Yeah, he was here. Okay. And, you know, I don't, I don't know, man. You know, I think it, I think it could have been de escalated. I think some of the men. That were up in there, possibly could have gotten in between them two and kind of just. Let's let's be the part the brother who turned around and ran out. The old man, nigga, the old you, man. Your days is numbered. Yeah. Nigga, you could have been the hero for real. Like you ain't for got that long real. Or, or, or he could have got wings that day too. He so, could have, right. but damn. No, he, he could have got wings. Man, I mean that, that was too much. But his wings would have been good. But you know what, man? I, I've been in a situation <laughs> like that. Did you but, out? But, no, I got in between the right. one who was beefing with the sister, and I and I escorted the sister out the building. And right. she kept trying to jaw jack like the right. sister was. And I said, come on, let's just go outside. The brother was still woofing, and the whole thing got de escalated. Right. Read what Riva Rollins just said. Read what Rollins just posted. Oh, uh, well, let me say the most disrespected woman is the black woman. It's true. It's true. I mean, I, I pulled up on a couple one night after basketball practice, and they was literally like walking this big ass dog, and they was like, <laughs> I'm different. I mean, he like had her in the headlock. Right. I said, hey, bro, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> They both rose up and at the same time they said, mind your fucking business. Right. They said the same thing at the same right. time. Right. Mind your fucking business. I'm right. going to go over and over. Right. Hey, and that's, 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 that's the best thing to do. Some people function. That's wow. exactly you have, right. You have some people who can't function unless there is turmoil. Listen, I had, I had a similar incident, man. We used to push papers outside of, uh, outside of the club. Old uh, club, uh, club right. Spice in <laughs> my fellow. And uh, we out there, man, we see this brother pull up, you know what I'm saying? He ain't even parking in the parking spot. He just pulled a right front of the club, mm-hmm. me. And he jumps out the, uh, out the ride and, and walks into the club. Dude's like, man, it's a file cover. He's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? And walked right past him. Went over there, grabbed his chick, and pulled her out the club. Right. And so we out there doing our thing. And we said, you know, our whole thing is respect and protect the black woman. I'm like, hey. So we holler out, like, yo, bro. And again, to Trav's point, she was like, I'm good. Sure. <laughs> and once she said that, I'm like, okay, I'm good. And it's so because hard. That, that, domestic, that domestic piece you don't want to get involved in. You know what I mean? Because you don't know what their relationship is. Yeah. And a lot of them, they function like that. Yeah. But we still have to at least make that effort. You know what I mean? If we uh, believe in respecting and protecting our women as a community. You gotta make that effort. Right. You gotta at least uh, appear to intervene, but to just turn around and run out, man. run out. <laughs> that he was said, if he could, he could have got his wings. He thought that. He thought, he he thought, he thought, he thought yeah. that dude was gonna start hitting him. Yeah. He got scared. Yeah. So what? He got scared. You gotta get yourself in between that. He was old man. You know how when you get old, you get scared. Right. You get scared. You did. Because you like to get. He like to go like hell with all hell. He probably not even gonna get COVID. He stands back like a mirror. He was just like that. He was 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 like that. Right. <laughs> you don't want no new hip replacement. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I see what you're saying. He should have. You know, just well, me. Well, yeah, just, I, 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 I
nothing but just women and an old man. Right. right. I'm sure that's what I said. Yeah. That's why yeah. hey, well, I said the camera out. You know what I'm saying? That was the problem with that. The other thing that I'm questioning is this. This little combative nature that we have with our women and, and our men, it was it was a straight back and forth with that thing. And that's right. why it was like, keep on talking, I'm going to hit you. Right. What did the sister keep doing? Kept talking. She kept talking. Of course. Of course. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you gotta humble yourself and be like, "All right, bro, you go hit me." Okay, let me just, you know. But that ain't the nature of a woman. Right. <laughs> and it damn sure ain't the nature of a black woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got my little fourteen-year-old pistol. Exactly. He's like, "I'm told him." She said, "Go to the car." Yeah. Go to the car. yeah. She knew what was about to go there. She did. She told him. She didn't just say, "Hey, she said, "Kid, he him." Yeah. Kill him. Kill him. She didn't said kept keep shooting. <laughs> That's why she got arrested, because she told him, kill him. But I mean I'm not mad at the little brother. I'm not mad at all. He did what he's supposed to do. He did what he's supposed to do. He did what he's supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? I would tell my son the same thing. Kill him. No, I see the incident where he hits the sister twice, old man running out the building. Right. And then I see another one where they're in the Parking, like yeah, that boy that's all there is. That's yeah. all there is. That's all there is. So, yeah, I mean, the little, the little brother, he's the rightest one of everybody in this whole situation. It wasn't, it wasn't a win nowhere. Yeah, situation. he's the rightest one. Like, somebody doing something to my mama, man, I got to lay you down. Right. That, that's just real. It that's don't just, matter. No, it don't matter. Yeah. It is what it is. I mean, a lot of us grew up in abusive relationships where we saw our fathers or our stepfathers beating on our mother. And the first thing coming to the mind of a little boy during that time is, man, I want to kill this nigga. You know what I'm saying? As soon as I grow up, I'm right. whooping his behind. Right. My, my stepdad taught me that my mom used to try to fight him, to try to beat him up. <laughs> she used to say, hey, if I, this is my mom talking. If I gotta put my hands on him, I gotta leave. <laughs> Cause he used to fight him all the time. Right. But when she fought him, he used to hold her down. Right. Like he and he he'd tell us, like he'll look at us and be like, Look son, you don't have to hit it. Like it, it don't hurt. Like her punches don't hurt. It's ego. Yeah. I got hit. Hey, my mom used to fight. Used to fight my dad. Yeah, man. Man, let me tell you, I got hit because I told the girl, told the girl I was me. And I told the woman, I said, you know what? I'm out. I'm done. I was over. That was my last. He said, I got hit. I got hit. Hey, no, hey, real talk. That girl up the road. She hit me. She's like, you can leave. I'm saying, I'm gone. Bye. She hit me so hard. My ear is in. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, don't try to talk. Oh man, I'm gonna hear myself. Ooh, how did you think you hit? I'm gonna hear myself. My ears start coming back. Don't you ever hit me again. Don't you ever hit me again. I'm gonna tell you, my ears start coming back. Don't you ever hit me again. I'm gonna tell you, my ears start coming back. Don't you ever hit me again. I'm gonna tell you, my ears start coming back. Don't you ever hit me again. I'm gonna tell you, my ears start coming back. Don't you ever hit me again. I'm gonna tell you, my ears start coming back. Don't you ever hit me again. I'm gonna tell you, my ears start I left. Matter of fact, I called you when I left. I said, man, bye. Good right. day, you didn't touch it, you left. But it's it's a situation. They, they will try to put you in a situation yeah. sometimes. But, but you know what? Even though I said that to you, I had a situation where I totally lost my mind. And you did? Oh, my God, man. My ex-wife, man, she just... But see, that, but see that's what I'm saying. That was... No, that was... You did that after my situation. That's what I'm saying. Oh, shit, oh, man. Okay, so of course we're big on, on, on protecting, respecting and protecting the black woman. Yeah. Is there circumstances where uh, we can't protect them? 
um, well, they and should be wild. protected. Yeah, yeah. Well, I get it. That's why I did. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 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 a lot of women carry pistols now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So it's like, like, probably just gonna beat your ass. But yeah. you know yeah. what? A, a, a lot of these sisters. And a lot of these sisters, they, they, they mouth don't have no brake fluid on. <laughs> no brake fluid. Right. They don't know how to when when this when this going past somewhere. Some some women don't know how to stop. Right. They got that do it, do it, do it. Then do it. There's a scripture <laughs> that says, "Speak what your mouth is uh -huh. speaking to existence." And stuff. Yeah. So y'all, y'all better quit. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you would. I wish you would. You like Ephesians three eight six. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna look for the scripture because you, you can speak it into existence. You keep talking that way. Talking. So look, Yolanda said my aunt used to go upside her man's head with a cast iron skillet. <laughs> that mess was crazy. And, she went back. and then she says, "Yes, unfortunately, some just don't want to be protected." Okay, that's where I wanted to get to. Like, you know what I'm saying in terms of respecting and protecting black women. But then those are the first ones that say. Y'all don't protect us. <clears throat> What's up with these brothers? All these brothers around here, they don't protect us. They be the main ones. They don't want that protection. Mm. As soon as you step up, they're like, man, you back up. Sit your ass down. I got this. Yeah. I'm going to tell, tell y'all a story. Another story. So, <clears throat> this is when I was in college. And uh, Saeed Minaj would attest to this because he was there with me. Um, we went to a house party. Right. And when we arrived at the house party, a sister is getting drugged out of the party by her boyfriend. Yes. She sees me. Get him off of me. He's hurting me. So as I step up to do something, mm -hmm. one of his partners pulls a gun out on me and puts it in my face. Right. I stopped right dead in my track. The sister says, You a fucking punk! Wow. Later that week, after school proceeded, we back in class, she told I don't know how many sisters on how I allowed this man to be her dad. Right. What do you do? Now, Saeed Minaj told me, he was like, she probably didn't want to get her ass whooped anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but that didn't help my situation. That's you right. Know? That's what I was going to That's why I didn't get no wings. I didn't want to get no wings. Right. I didn't want to get no wings. That's wisdom. But I hated to see that situation go down. But that's I'm wisdom. It's like you're not the boy. Yeah, your homeboy did that. Hey, Nicki Minaj. But see, that was the point I made earlier was you have certain situations where. <laughs> we've been in it like, like we've been in that situation. So they're like, no, because if you stand up, you never know what's gonna happen to happen to you. You know? Right, and then they but at some point you gotta you just be at, at, at the uh, at the uh, let out with the same dude. With the same dude. With the same dude. Absolutely. You know, now you done it every time, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And you, and you know what, Brian? That wasn't the end of their relationship. Of course uh, not. Of course not. Oh no. <laughs> No, you so they did. They still together. They still you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you gotta you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, tell you this. This just happened on the Tom Jordan cruise. I'm on the cruise with this guy. Cool with him. Everything. He's working the cruise, doing stuff. He has his girl. Right? So so he has his girl. They've been back and forth with him. Now, everybody's been telling me that they have a toxic relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no. Nah, he's cool. <laughs> she cool. Right. Whatever. It's not nothing trippy. My boy, you know, my boy DL was like, man, I mean, I'm going to come with that boy. You know, that's how I did. So we on a cruise. Now, her her, her um, suitcase, it, it, it's not, it's get lost, right? So she got to wear different clothes and stuff. So we, the first time we port, he calls me. Hey, you think that, uh, you know, you can go with her to get some clothes and stuff? I'm like, man, I don't. Hey, you know, I'm going, but for, for him, right. some girl, whatever, I'm going to look out for. Mm -hmm. So I call my other homegirl to go, right, who's on the cruise that mm -hmm. I met from, and I went to school with enough to say. So all three of us is gone. 
He's blowing up. I'm calling her all the time. Then he call me. Where's she at? Oh, she right here. Here, yeah, talk to her. You know what I mean? She's like, he just keep calling me in the shop. So we get back to the court. He meets that court. So then I say this. I say, see, look, we bonding now. I don't, I don't go to no uh, shopping, especially. I don't, I don't do that because that's not what I do. Right. So he don't say nothing. So then we get on the boat and we have the gambling thing. So then she leaves. She goes away. So I ask her. I say, hey, where did she go? Oh, she went back to the room. Why are you worried about where she went? Because then she's always here. We, you know, left it at that. So then she sends me a text. The next, the, 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 uh, on the cruise thing, saying, "Well, did he apologize to you?" I'm gonna apologize for what? Then we go fast, fast forward again. I see him. What's going on, man? You know what? You just hit by yourself. Yeah, get that girl. Blah blah blah, cussing and all this stuff. Yeah. I'm like, hey, I walk away. So then I see her. Then I'm so sorry. He was tripping. He got mad at you because it is talking about why he's he asking about you and bitch. I'm like, nigga, what? That shit is like a brother. <laughs> you know, you and you know why. Right. So then they're going back and forth. So I confront him. Of course, he say, you know, no, man, it ain't like that. You know, well, all right. You know, I make right. sure I throw you over this boat, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So then he literally like going back and forth with him, and like when they see each other, he pulls her wig off on the time to the crew. Like now, at the Charlie Wilson concert, nigga, everyone like yo, you know what I mean? So then he will step in, man, nigga, you know? But, right. So mind you, we get off the boat. I call him boy D. I said, boy, they over. It's a wrap. They over. No, man, you know, man, what? I tell her what happened. Then I call my other homegirl. It's like, yo, it's over. They done. She like, no, nah, they'll be back together. No, they won't either. No, nah, I said, I'll bet you $500. <laughs> you lost some money. Lost. I lost. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> I lost. And, and, and I seen it. I, I seen it for, I seen it. And I was like, ain't no way in here, though. They're going to yeah. be back together. Yeah. They back together and they left on another. Of course. Nigga. That's how it goes down. <laughs> so that was the first time I really seen it and witnessed it. And I was in I was in it for no reason. I'm like, what the heck? So that's that that opened my mind up to I know when people will really do that. Mm-hmm. See that that's what I don't get on my sisters and bears. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Nothing like that. Like they argue, whatever, get into a fake boy from his husband. I leave it alone. Man. I'm right. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be sitting in jail and, and your ass is happening ever after I hear yeah. yeah. this same motherfucker. Exactly. Nah, you go ahead yeah. and uh, Yeah, that the, them domestic situations are, are out, terrible things. Yeah. And you yeah. got yeah. to stay Don't tell out me about them. Don't explain it to me. Right. Mm-hmm. Keep your nose on your face. Proverbs 1821. <laughs> All right, my bad. Go ahead, preacher. That's not what it says. That's how you power of the tongue speak like Proverbs 1821. <laughs> oh, another thing. Man, let's get away from this toxic relationship, y'all. Why? No top. Why? Because it, it, it became like a big thing. Like, everybody like, that's the, that's the end thing to do, like, have some toxic relationships. That's some bullshit. Let's get back to this loving man and just being boyfriend and girlfriend. You, 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 you love Blueface and Rock. You love Blueface and Rock. I watch that shit. But I don't want to be in that shit. I told Trav yesterday, I said, Toxic shit is like a, a dopamine hit for, for trap. No, it right. used to be. It used to be. I used to love that. Right. I don't like that shit no more. Right. <laughs> oh, that is love. You <laughs> yeah. yeah. They reform. Well, I was just saying that yesterday. So yeah. one day to the next, you reform? No, I told you that yesterday. I said, I used to, I used to like that. I don't like that shit no more. But it goes back though, huh? Mm-hmm. Back in the day, what women say? Oh, I want a thug. I want this. I like that edge. It's all yeah. for the game till they hit you or steal your money. The next thing you know, look, somebody help me. You know what I mean? Yeah. Your so so listen, so in terms of respecting and protecting black women, like, of course, in the nation, that, that's our mantra, right? Uh, our first practical application is to respect and protect the black woman. But what's, what gets missed in all of that <clears throat> is when we were first given that instruction by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. It wasn't just the respect and protection of black women. It was the control, respect, and protection of black women. So the thing is that we have to learn as men, and women really have to learn this too, is that you cannot 
protect anything that you cannot control. Yeah, and so I'm not saying right, and I and I, and I, I want to I want to uh, clear that up too because I don't want to say that I'm controlling my woman, right? But they have to be able to control themselves. You see what I'm saying? So if, if my woman, as an example, if my woman wants to go to the nightclub and she's at the nightclub at two in the morning and she expects for me to protect her, she's out of her goddamn mind. Because I'm not gonna be at the club at no two in the morning. You see what I'm saying? So those women who put themselves in that, that, those situations, she at that house party cutting up and whatnot, and then somebody disrespect her, then she expects somebody to come and protect her. You can't protect her because she put herself in a, a position where you couldn't. You dig what I'm saying? But it gets deeper than that, her, because before that, it goes to the respect that she has for you. Exactly. That's that's where it is. When, when a woman does a whole bunch of stuff, she doesn't respect you as a man. Exactly. And if she doesn't respect you as a man, that's another point of contention. You cannot protect her. Right. You see what I'm saying? Y'all have to have certain boundaries in your relationship that you're not going to cross in order for you to protect her. Right. So if my wife called me right now and having some problems, man, I'm, I'm jumping in my car and I'm on my way. You know what I mean? I'm there in a lickety split because we have that relationship to where I'm going to protect her. You know what I'm saying? My daughter's the same thing. However, if they out doing something that they know they should not be doing, you can't protect them. Yeah, my wife was at Sam's uh, one night in the parking lot. A couple, a couple of little trucks like pulled up on her. Mm -hmm. He jumped out of the truck and went to the win went to her window and the, the, the truck was coming behind her. Like, she was like, he, she said he asked her for some money. <laughs> She pulled the gun out of <laughs> Right. <laughs> and she I, seen I, what was going on. <laughs> right. She called me like, like, hysterical. She's like, I think they're trying to sex traffic me. I think they're trying to sex me. <laughs> they're trying to steal me. I said, man, you got your gun, man. She's like, yeah. Right. I said, all right, man, I'll holler at you. Right. <laughs> Put that thing in your lap. Yeah. Get ready. You know what I'm saying? You better use that one. But yeah, that, that's real, man. That's real. That's real, 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 real. Respect and protecting black women. So the moral of the story is, uh, let's respect one another. You know what I'm saying? Like the moral of the story, the other moral of the story is black women, y'all learn how to be controlled. Be control, <laughs> control yourself. <laughs> no, we don't control y'all. Submission. Oh man. Submit. Hey, I heard everybody do uh, hypnotize her whole crowd the other night. I bet she did. <laughs> everybody I bet like, she did. <laughs> Chad, what we got going? Uh, nothing, man. Just a lot of good stuff about the dog. I got to do the mayor's thing tonight. Mayor's tonight. He, he botanical gets botanical garden. Botanical, yeah, botanical yeah, garden with the mayor, the black right. one. Right. Oh, let me tell y'all something. This is what y'all need to do. I have this weekend called the Shed Jeep Weekend in Dallas every year where I bring in uh, everyone from everywhere. That's when I invite all the cities, all the places I've been from Minneapolis to Denver to Atlanta, Virginia. And we get over like 60 to 70 people. And I know it's going to be bigger, but I'm just telling you, sometimes you just come down there and I have, I have a hotel room set up. I have the event set up so that you can come have a great time. We support everything. I'm called B. Yep. B got FaceTime traffic. Right. Like it's off the chain that you will love. It's from that Wednesday to that Monday. That Wednesday we used to have a comedy show. We had the DJ Spinderella Comedy Bash. That was off the chain. We went to a jazz. We had a happy hour. We had day parties. It's so much pedal pub. When last time we was on the bike? <laughs> the black people, we didn't drink beer. We had milk. <laughs> we we was pedal, but I'm making it. <laughs> but it's it's just something that's fun when you can network and be able to do it. And the reason why I did it because everybody was always coming to Dallas at several times, and I messed around and caught a virus down there called Waterburger. So I came. <laughs> <laughs> so, I so it's just something that we like to do, man. And we always just be, give a big shout out. So. If you're on here, go to, uh, we got an event page, a uh, group page called Denver to Dallas. Denver to Dallas. Denver, 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 Denver to Dallas is where we have everybody that lives in Denver and Dallas. 
so we can always network. When we did the the, the, the Super Bowl, not Super Bowl, uh, the football game. Oh, football it was, game, man, it was so awesome. Basketball game. Basketball game. It's like we represent for our hometown, so that's the one thing I just like to say. She has some country. He said water burger. It's what a talking. burger. What, what a, a burger. 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 Y'all gonna have you gonna have everything on your um, Facebook page? Yeah. Try to have everything on this on Facebook page. page. So go to Travis Facebook page. I I want to give a big shout Let's out to Sandra you. Police. Man, I don't really talk to her because I don't really talk to a lot of people. But I remember all the stuff that she's been through and everything. And then when I saw her at at, uh, at the years, man, it was just a blessing to know, man. She she's one of those individuals that's an inspiration to a lot. So if you want to know. Somebody that can deal and you know just to inspire you. That's what you should. Oh, Sonya, that's my girl. Man. Shout out to Sonya, buddy. That's my Talk girl. Sonya, Pierre just she, still open. She keep it one hundred, huh? One hundred. Pierre just still open. Yeah, yeah, they got it in there. I love it. Random, random, random. That's why yeah, no, I'm just saying. Hey, man, she ain't keeping it one hundred enough. She ain't on the show. Huh? At least not today. She's been on though. We still got some props. You know, Sonya's on the show. I'm getting married to my sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
where we've been serving the community for close to 25 years. Now we've partnered up um, with an insurance company called Ethos in an effort to help our people uh, with life insurance. That's something that we all need. I know it's something that we don't want to think about, but it is something that we all need if we want to leave anything to our loved ones when we leave this space. So do me a favor, click on the link or go to our website, astar2.com and click on the ethos page. We'll see you on the other side.